Hey everybody, the video you're about to watch is one of many more you're going to find over at cadjunkie.com covering digital design tools of all stripes, including SolidWorks, Moto, Rhino, and others. So I hope you're going to go check out our free membership as soon as you're done watching this video. All right, enjoy. Hey everybody, Adam here. Welcome to CAD Junkie. And today we're going to talk a little bit about rigging up a joystick in Moto uh, using a technique that I think is really, really useful in a lot of ways. This is just a, one example of, of the ways in which this technique could be really useful to you. So in this case, I have a joystick and you'll notice that that joystick uh, has a, uh, a locator at its base that I can use to rotate the joystick around. Good. And I have a joystick target because in a lot of cases it might be easier to control the joystick with a target than with the base. And the way I would use that is to take the base, uh, shift click the target or control click the target in the list and head over to my, uh, my setup commands under the modifiers tab and put a direction constraint on that. I would make sure that my direction constraint, in my case, is set to the Y axis, because that's the up axis on my, uh, on my locator. And then from then on, I can just take this and move it around, and it's very, very easy for my joystick to follow along, right? And that looks great. The only problem with that is that uh, I don't want for the animators to mess this up. And in the animators, in my case, is just me. I don't want to make any mistakes here. And as it happens, if I move this target way off to the side, look down here. My joystick is eating into its own base, which clearly it can't do. It's very important to me that this joystick never go further than about that. That's about as far as this joystick can probably physically go. And I'd like to stop it there and make sure that it can't go any further than that, no matter what. Now, we could take care of that uh, using, for example, uh, a full body IK setup and then adding constraints on angles. But I find that that doesn't always work very well because full body IK and even any IK at all actually has tolerancing issues that can cause jittering effects when you get to the extremes of the motion. And in this case, I'm going to be at the extremes of the motion pretty often. I kind of want to be able to go all the way to either side pretty frequently. So let's actually uh, go ahead and undo all this stuff. I'm going to delete that constraint as well and go back. So I've just got those two separate locator items not constrained to anything. Now let's start uh, dealing with this in a slightly different way. I'm going to grab my model tools for just a second here. Hold shift and create a cylinder and then close those tools. And then in poly selection mode, I'm just going to scale that cylinder on up so it's nice and big like. I'll select the top poly, hit the left bracket key on my keyboard, left square bracket and delete to delete everything else. And let's say that this is right now representing as far as I want this thing to go in any direction. I definitely don't want this to rotate beyond the edges of this circle. That's kind of the, the total distance I want. So what I can do is really simple. Let's go to my item selection mode, select my target item, and then again, I'm going to control click on this cylinder in my item list and head over to my modifier tools again. And in the bottom of this top control group, I have this one called intersect surface. Now, if you don't see that, drop down the bottom control and you'll see that there are several options here, one of them being intersect surface. Let's run that command. And suddenly I'm given a new locator item that is connected to that joystick target. And that's right here. Let's call this joystick projected. All right, so now if I take that target and I move it around, it's going to move that projection along the surface. Great. And if I move it up and down, it's not going to make any difference. That, uh, that projection is going to go right where it is. Now, if I move this out beyond the edge, it's not going to go any further. It's going to stop right there on the edge, and it can't move any further than that. Perfect. That's exactly the behavior that we need. So now, let's just hide this cylinder, so we don't need to look at it. I'm going to take my joystick base, control click on the projected locator, and then give that a direction constraint. And once again, the direction constraint for me is going to be along the Y axis, not the Z axis. And I can hide my projected point now. And now, when I move this target, everything works great, except I can't go beyond a certain point. 
That's as far as I can go. It'll go there and stop, no further, because that's the size of my circle. And clearly, I can actually change the size of my circle. Let's say I need to limit this even further. Let's take that cylinder, select that poly, scale it down a little bit, go back to item selection mode, move this guy, and that's going to be as far as it can go. It's still going to be constrained to the cylinder. Just no, no further than that cylinder can, can go. Perfect. So let's undo this and go back a little bit. That's looking great. And I would just go through here and clean up a couple of things. I'll just rename this my boundaries and then uh, select this locator. Let's go to its display properties. I'm going to set its locator shape to custom. And I'm going to say uh, replace with a box. That's good. I do want it to be solid. And under my 3D items properties, I would do add draw options. And we can set it to any color we want. So let's set this color to a user color here. And uh, I'm going to alt drag to make that uh, more saturated. And then control drag to change its hue. And I can take it around to something pretty obvious there. There we go. Now I have a really obvious control that I can very easily animate and keyframe. And it's going to control my uh, joystick, and it can't go outside of its boundaries. Beautiful. Excellent. Now, if you have any questions, by all means, let me know. If you know of a better way of doing this, I want to know what it is. Shoot me a, shoot me a comment or an email or whatever. Telegram, it's all you. <laughs> Talk to you soon. See ya.